A variable is a memory location to store data such as an integer. First you need to declare a variable using the proper data type and multiple variables can be declared all in one Java statement. And then second, you typically assign it a value. So the very first time that you ever assign a variable to a value, this is called initialization. And not initializing a variable is a common error in programming. The compiler creates memory on the Java stack to store the variables that you create. So when you read or print a variable, its value is coming from the variable's memory location. Variable assignment is when you assign your variable to a value, and it looks something like this. You have the variable name, which is an identifier, and that's assigned to a value using the equal sign. And the single equal sign, like you see right there, is assignment in Java. It, is not, it, does, it does not check for equality. To check for equality, you'll use two equal signs in a row. So what we're doing here is we're assigning some identifier to a value and ending that with a semicolon. So you first need to declare the data type of the identifier using one of the eight primitive Java data types. And there's a separate video that describes all eight of these data types. And again, the equal sign is called the assignment operator. And the right-hand side of this equal sign can be a value or an expression. And the right-hand side gets evaluated first, and then it gets assigned to whatever's on the left-hand side of the assignment operator. So let's take a look at a few examples of declaring and assigning variables to a value. So let's assign some variables to some values. And the format looks like this. It's going to be the primitive data type. So it's data type, the variable name, and we'll assign it to a value like that and end it with a semicolon. And there's eight primitive data types. The one we're going to use in this example is integers. So that data type is int. Int represents an integer, which means a whole number. Numbers without floating point decimals in there. So let's create an integer called age and set age to 10. In this part of the statement, we are declaring age. And here we are assigning it with the assignment operator. And 10 is the value. So 10 is now set to age. And we can verify this by printing it out. Ten was printed out to the screen. That is the value for age. So here we're declaring the variable and assigning it a value for the first time. You could also declare a variable and not assign it a value by saying int num for number and end it with a semicolon. So here we are just declaring, and then later on, and then later on we can assign it a value by saying num is eight, and here we are assigning the variable to a value. But the very first time you assign a variable to a value, you're actually initializing it. So later on, if I was to say num and set it to 9, I'm not initializing. You can also declare multiple variables on the same line by saying int a comma b comma c. We can assign them values like a is 5, b is 6, c is 7. And then we can also create variables by declaring them and assigning them all on the same line by saying int x is 1, y is is 2 and c. Let's say we didn't know what z is. We can declare and initialize variables all in a single statement just like we did right here. And you just need to comma separate them and they're all the same data type. They're all integers. Int is one of the eight primitive data types and in a separate video I'll talk about all the eight different primitive data types.